Hey, this is Mark. We're here at Killington Ski Resort for the 2018 Vermont State Brewers Festival. We've got all kinds of brewers from all over the state. Beautiful day. We got some snow shine. It's sunny, and there's some <laughs> snowflakes flying around. And we got our sip of sunshine on tap here, along with four other beers. So you guys throw, come to the show here today, to the festival, with 30 years under your belt. One of the longest-running breweries here in the state of Vermont. It's actually born the same year it started, so uh, that's kind of cool. A little and, connection uh, right there. Right, yeah, I like yeah. that. 30 years plus of microbreweries working it out, collaborating, putting together some specialty brews just for the event. We're gonna be working it out with my buddy Klaus from over at Killington Snowmobile Tours via Snowmobile Vermont to help me out with tasting some of these morsels. So stick around with us for a great afternoon of fun here on the 80 Brew. PBR, or the Peters, is called Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer because it was the first beer to win a blue ribbon at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. The Vermont Brewers Association has put together their newest Brewers Festival right here at the base of Killington. For the last 25 years, the association has been running a successful event on the waterfront in Burlington, Vermont, and now they're bringing a second festival to the picturesque mountain setting of Killington Mountain. The festival is outdoors at the base area of the K-1 Lodge with a warming tent, fire pits, and plenty of beer to keep the event goers warm. There's no reason to get cold at this winter beer fest. Or, you know, you can just kind of cozy up to your new best friend and warm up a little bit here at the Brew Fest. Did you guys know that FDR, in 1932, the reason he got elected was that he wanted to end prohibition? That indeed is the American dream, is it not? On that note, let's, I'll drink it out on that one. Cheers! <laughs> Here with Avery Schwank, president of the Vermont, Vermont Brewers, Brewers Association. Association. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I'm just going to let him fly with it and tell us all about what's going on in this new winter brew fest. Thing. Absolutely. We're booming, man. Lines are like 50 people long everywhere. It's killer. Yeah, we were super excited to be here at Killington Resort. We've got a brand new festival for this year. Uh, the Brewers Association decided to kind of expand our offerings and uh, have a festival. Uh, you know, at, at, over the summer, we have our beautiful festival outdoors. Featuring the, you know, uh, Lake Burlington Champlain, waterfront. the waterfront, can't get a better view other than the mountain out here today. So we're highlighting <laughs> the winter wonders of Vermont. Right. Yeah, so we, uh, we got this fest year. We wanted to feature something a little bit different, what the Brewers Association can do that nobody else can. So we're uh, focusing on collaboration. So getting Vermont brewers to work together and make beers we've never made before. Well, That's I want to tell you that <laughs> as, we've, as we've been bouncing around talking from one brewer to the next, all they talk about is collaborating. Absolutely. And the look on their faces of like it's some like joyous occasion, something different that like this time of the year they're able to get together and 
try out some new ideas, get a feel for Absolutely. it. It's, an it's like little kids in a playground. It's an opportunity for creativity and like melding of minds and coming up with new weird beers that we'd never be able to make on our own. But working together, we come up with crazy ideas and actually try to put them together. We actually, at Hermit Thrush Brewery, got told to stop doing collaborations for this festival. <laughs> we have six here. We had eight planned, and we said they told us we had too many collaborations to let other people have some. Yeah, just trying to get more people excited about, as excited about Vermont beer as we are. And I think this is Winter Ski Fest is, or Winter Brew Fest is going to be a good way to do that in the coming years. We came rolling in here for this second session, you know, at four o'clock. And I'm going to tell you, we walked and down the line that was coming in. It was longer than any line I've seen at Superstar, the Gondola, or anything. That's fantastic. It was all the way back out to the baseline. I've been stuck pouring beer all session. I had no idea. That's well, great hell news. Well, yeah, dude, get back there and let's get some more of it out. Uh, let's thanks do a it. Lot. Good seeing you. <laughs> 2018 Brewfest here at Killington. Got my new best friends that I just met. Sound off for me, guys. Stephanie. Kevin. Sam. And Dennis. Where are you guys from? New York. Tell me about the stuff you're drinking today. What's what's been your favorite so far? Oh, God. You know, it's it's hard to choose. There were all so many great ones. I'm going to have to go with my favorite was the uh, Sour IPA. It turned my hair red. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) I'm a stout girl, and the loss in stout really good. I'm back for more. We're just talking a little bit about how we got things going here. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh man, so Sean and I were just, you know, a couple of home brewers back in the day. We used to throw some pretty wild home brew parties and uh, one thing turned to another and next thing you know, Sean's brewing some of the best brew going. So our first uh, our first brew fest was we were literally just cracking bottles from a one barrel brewery in his backyard, which is now still a seven barrel brewery in his backyard. And <laughs> Pretty soon we're going to open a really big 30-barrel brewery in the fall, and that's really exciting. And we're, it's going to be a lot of fun. Can't, we can't wait. We're really excited. It's so great. Great job, man. Thanks for gabbing with me, Chuck. Hey, Enjoy you're the welcome. rest of the weekend, Appreciate bro. It. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <Woo-hoo. laughs> 2018 Brewfest here at Killington, Vermont. 
big thing that I wanted to say to some of these guys, you know, they're kind of laughing. Where are you from? We are from Peabody, Mass. Did you get a lot of head on any of the beers that you got today? <laughs> I didn't have any yet. None? So. Did you have oh. any head on the beers today? You had? Yes, those, we did. Those nitro ones, man. Yes. Yeah. All yes. Over. Do you know how to get rid of the head of a beer if you had to? We do not, huh? Wipe your nose and stick your finger in it? <laughs> oh, I like it. She's got the answer. She's going to win the well, prize. That was right. You're going to get the free good water prize. And she's the DWI driver tonight. DD driver. <laughs> yeah, it's us here at the Brute Fest Killington. Rocking it out. Welcome back to the 8 Brew. The Vermonters are coming out today to sample all these beautiful micro brews here in Killington 2018 Brew Fest. Woohoo! Let's take one back! Here visiting with Christoph from Hermit Thrush. How's it going? Great, man. How's your day going so far? Living the dream. We did a lot of collabs. It's been a lot of fun. So we're going to get a beer here together. What collab are you going to turn me on to? Uh, I think you should try Two Birds, One Whetstone. It's with a brewery downtown of us, uh, right in Brattleboro. Uh, they're a brew pub on the, uh, the banks of the Connecticut. They do a lot of hoppy stuff. We do a lot of sour stuff. We kind of came together and made this kettle sour, uh, really bright hoppy pale ale. Really? Uh, two, kettle sour? Yeah. Like two, two Birds, One Whetstone. Oh. Two birds, one whetstone, and then again, creativity, right? Where's the name come from? Uh, brewers and puns are the same thing. Puns are people too. Brewers are people puns. People puns. I like it. All right, let's go to the counter, man. I got my ticket. Let's do this. So I got all this foam in here. I've heard that yeah. if I stick my finger in it, it'll get rid of the foam. Uh, or just burn sort it. of. <laughs> but why do you want to stick your finger in your beer? I tell you, uh, winter brew fest is kind of cool. You know, we don't have to put ice in the cooler. Yeah. <laughs> just leave and and no koozies. Why? Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> the beer's already frosty. Walking on the street, I got Angela. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. And I got Chris. Hey, hey. Tell me about what you guys brought you here today. Um, Hermit Thrush, first of all. Huge fan. Huge fan. Yeah. Just got their collab with Farnham. Uh, Killers, like one of my first sour beers experiences out of Belgium, uh, the Duchess. So this Hermit Thrush with uh, Farnham, yeah, killer. Yeah, and this is my Valhalla, <laughs> All beers back in the day uh, were brewed with smoked malt because that was the only way that you were able to dry your malts out and to have them smoke over, over a burning fire. The first consumer protection law was written to protect beer drinkers. It was a purity law limiting the ingredients of beer to barley, hops, and water. And man, my liver appreciates that. Next, I'm with Kevin from Hogback Brewery out of Bristol, Vermont. Kevin, tell us a little bit about what you're pouring today. So we're pouring a collaboration brew to fit in with the theme of the brew fest here. Uh, we did a collaboration for a maple brown with a bobcat right in Bristol, so two blocks away. And then we're also pouring a sour with uh, blackberries. Is that the pink beer? Is that what you're calling it? That's the pink beer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to get a reputation around here. Creativity obviously is the big factor. You gotta be on your edge in Vermont with all these great beers, so uh, hence the uh, blackberry sour. We're digging it. The first United States Marine recruiting station was in a bar. Imagine that. I would have to get pretty drunk too to volunteer a fight with a musket. <laughs> All right, we're here at Long Trail talking about some of the brewers here we ran into. 
Lay it on us, man. Tell us about what's going on here at the festival for you. Yeah, so we got a lot of uh, specialty offerings down here. Uh, we got a couple cask IPAs, uh, some sour beers, um, and a new Vermont IPA offering that we have. Sure. Pretty excited. Uh, just trying to bring some new weird stuff that we don't have an opportunity to showcase anywhere else. Talk to about a little bit about green technology for you guys. What's going on with that end for you guys? We uh, just because of our location in Bridgewater, we're we have a lot of restrictions on what we can do with our facility. You know, we're on our own freshwater system. We treat our own wastewater going out, and obviously, we want to. We have a big tide of Vermont, and we want to keep it, keep things really fresh and local. And we love where we're at. And we don't want to trash our state. So, it's yeah. a beautiful place. You guys are doing a great job. Anyway, live here at the festival, man, loving it. Killington, 2008 Brewfest. Welcome back to Edo Brew. That's right. Thanks, Mom. So, what brings you up here this weekend? Hey, you know the beer. It's all about the beer. It's all about the beer. Brew Fest Festival, outstanding. Like what do they do there? So, we're here today at Killington for the Brew Fest. Checking in with Steve at the Drop-In Brewing Company right out of Middlebury. Steve, tell me about what's going on. You can shout out from the girls know, and everything, dude. It's fantastic. Yeah, this is fantastic. It's first uh, time we've done this event in the winter. It's snowing right now. <laughs> we've got uh, phenomenal beers. We all collaborated with each other to put together new styles and new beers. We work with Hermit Thrush. So oh, we've you been, did with yeah, Christoph and yeah, Avery. Yeah, so uh, we've been we make a, a, a Scottish 90 shilling ale, Heart of Lothian. We feel we're kind of famous for that beer, and uh, I've never brewed sour beers before. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. Just uh, and, well, not on purpose anyway. Right. And so uh, so yeah, we decided that it would be great to collaborate with them. We went down there, brewed the recipe in their space. They put their magic spin on it, and it's just incredible. Heart of Lothian is our beer. We're calling it Tart of Lothian. Tart of Lothian, because yeah. of that little bit of sour to it. I Jeez, like your I style, sour. man. All right, so we're here at Brewfest. Hey, we didn't want you to think that the only thing here is beer. We also got food today. What's your first name? Sarah. Sarah, where are you from, Sarah? Colchester. Colchester. And your first name? Meredith. Meredith, where are you from? From Boston. What do you got going right there? A little grub today, huh? Yeah, a little pulled pork tater tots with some mac and cheese on top. Are you kidding me right now? With the mac and cheese. With the mac and cheese. All right, so we're here at 2018 Brewfest here, Vermont State Brewfest up at Killington. First time out rolling this thing here at Killington in the wintertime. Marty, tell me about the event for you. Okay, it's been a beautiful day. Suns came out early, it's no wind. Everyone's just having a great time. A lot of collaboration beers with everybody. We did one with 14 Star, just other people have done other things with other breweries. Uh, so it kind of gave a nice little theme to everything, and uh, people are enjoying it. So there's Marty Bonneau, which actually means what in beer? Bonneau means good water. Good water. There we go with Good Water Brewery. <laughs> Got beer naked here left in the house. Tell me a little bit about what's going on here, guys. Hey, we just had a great, uh, great day. A lot of good pours. People coming back and hitting it up. It was, uh, it's all good. Good vibes, really good. We had a great day. We came with our uh, hemp seed uh, maple brown ale and our uh, double IPA that we uh, co-brewed with Zero Gravity Brewery um, in Burlington, Vermont. Um, Destiny, Paul Sailor, big ups to you guys for helping us out with that one, coming down our brewery for the first time ever um, and we had the hug master over here <laughs> that's right that's right that's right first of all my name is Sammy Blanchett I'm from Shelton Connecticut uh, Jason and Sarah are the owners of Beer Naked Brewery we know each other from back home we do their clothing their screen printing and embroidery and uh, I've done a couple of celebrity volunteer help outs the last couple months and everything and what a great day what can you say what a great event here at Killington to put this all together and uh, 
Yeah, Jason wanted me to uh, give free hugs with my telephone number for everybody. <laughs> so how many did you give out? Uh, roughly about 260. <laughs> we have the tally right up over here, right here. in case you want to see. <laughs> Bottom line, um, it was a very successful day for Beer Naked, and I'm very thrilled to be a part of this whole day with John and Jason and uh, our buddy Carr, who helped us out yeah, running around all day as well, too. And uh, Come yeah, on in. what more can you say? Here's to another great year next year. So thanks, guys. Great. Well, guys, hey, thanks again. Here from Beer Naked, new on the scene. All right, man. Vermont Brew Fest here at Thank Killington. You guys very God bless them. Thank Let's you. keep pushing along. Look forward to yeah. seeing you. All Hell right. yeah. Thanks, right. brother. Woo! Thank you guys. Yeah, man. <laughs> we hope you learned something about these Vermont craft brewers and wet your whistle with some excellent tasting craft beers. So here's tonight's that we'll never remember with the friends that we'll never forget. Cheers. Yep. Check, check, 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Yep. 2018 at Killington for the Winter Vermont State Brew Fest. We're here with Christopher from Hermit Thrush. Christoph. Christoph. Oh, I can't say that. I, don't know I can't here, say like <laughs> What I want to do. Dude? Gonna be here checking out some new tasty morsels from the top brewers in the. Oh, we got some food. Are you ready for this? You know what? what? I'm from Italy. 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 I love Italian. Italian. Vermont beer. Love Rufus. Awesome. We're like happy. Great. We are all here having a fabulous time. Yo, what's up? It's your boy DP coming in live. Streaming from Kensington, Vermont. How y'all doing today? Yeah, we're drinking beer.